Hello my friends, in this tutorial I will show you how I edited this Milky Way shot that I took a few days ago. And I will use Lightroom, but if you have Photoshop you can use uh, Camera Raw because it's the same, it has the same modules that I have here. And I'll show you how to do that. And on my website you'll find the raw file, so you'll be able to download not the JPEG file, but the actual raw straight from the camera. So let's get started. Well, uh, as you can see here, I took a few shots and the ones that I like the most uh, are this ones, this one and also this one. And for this image, this is the final edit. Uh, and for this one is this final edit. I'll show you how to, uh, how to correct a bit this uh, angle. You can see this, uh, it looks uh, very weird. Uh, that's because of the lens, I think and I'll show you how to correct that in Photoshop and how to get this final effect. The settings that I uh, use on the camera, as you can see here on the top, I used a Tokina 11 to 16 millimeters, so a wide angle lens, at f2.8 ISO 1000 and 30 seconds for the exposure. So let me show you how I edited this, let me show you the settings that I use. So this is the image straight from the camera, uh, it's not even cropped, anything like that, let me show you the edits that I have here. If you don't have Lightroom and want to do this in Camera Raw, let me show you how you can do that. I'll go to this image in Finder. So I will open this with Photoshop CS6 and by default it opens in Camera Raw, okay? And these are all the modules that I have, see? It's the same as in Lightroom but uh, they have their have these icons here and you can see you have the temperature I have it in Spanish but uh, in, in English it's exactly the same so you have the temperature the exposure the clarity and everything so it's everything here you can follow it exactly the same way let's go back to Lightroom and let's start editing this the first thing I do is work here on the on this first module to change the temperature change the contrast and everything so I'll give you the exact values that I have, I wrote them down and I have 3606 for the temperature, I made it a bit colder, I have this more of a bluish look and for the tint is plus 19, that's okay, I did not uh, change the tint. For the exposure um, I have plus 075, uh, let's increase that a bit, 0.75 Okay, just to make it a bit brighter. Uh, the contrast, I leave it to plus 31. So I increase the contrast a bit. Highlights minus 21. Because I have this light here. This is light pollution. Uh, there was a city down, well, there on the background. And I arrived really late here on the location. And the Milky Way was actually almost on top of this. Uh, so there was no way I could eliminate that. I could have walked around it and, well, on the other side there was the sea and there was no point of interest, so I guess these lights are not really that bad. For the shadows, uh, I left them to zero, so I did not touch the shadows. Whites plus 34. So I increased a bit these lights here, the highlights. Blacks, zero. And then let's go uh, for the presence part. Here I just I increased a bit the clarity, not much, um, just 15, okay? And you can lower it or increase it. You will see the more you increase it, the more you see that the Milky Way there, but that's too, uh, it's too much for my taste. So I just leave it to 15. I increase the vibrance to 51 and the saturation to 12. Uh, the difference between the vibration and the, the the vibrance and the saturation, sorry, is that the vibrance usually increases the uh, color, while the the oranges, yellows, and blues. Okay, uh, even that is too much. Fifty one is too much. I guess I'll leave it to thirty because this light is too blue, and I don't like that. And I'll leave the saturation to twelve, how it was. Okay, uh, moving on. I also touched the curves. I increased the highlights here to uh, 45 and the lights to minus 6. 
okay and that's the only edit that I did here um, sorry the lights to minus 47 okay and let's move on I also um, made a uh, split tone effect so the settings are uh, for the hue here from the highlights is 45 and the saturation to 23 okay you can see now the image looks a bit brighter on the highlights a bit warmer sorry on the highlights and then on the shadows we have the hue to 220 and the saturation to 12 and the balance I left it to zero okay so I did not go you can go towards the high towards the shadows to make it more bluish if you have this set to blue or more towards the highlights which are orange but I left it to zero and that's uh, pretty much it that's the most important part here uh, to get the color that you want and the contrast and then there's just uh, touch-ups for example if you want to make them those stars a bit sharper you can increase the sharpening but you can see at ISO 1000 there's quite a bit of noise at least on my camera I have an icon D7100 okay and that increases a bit the noise but you can also reduce the noise from here and when you have dark images uh, you want to decrease the, the color noise so you can increase this a bit and you will remove that uh, color noise okay and with the re noise reduction you can get rid of uh, quite a lot of noise here I did not took any um, dark frames even though I could have done that to remove I don't know if you can see it um, let's see if I oh yeah right here you can see this small point there and then right here these are bad pixels from the sensor and I did not took any dark frames uh, when I took when I made the star trailing I did use um, a dark frame image uh, if you know if you don't know what that is just watch that other tutorial and you will uh, you will see what that does and moving on I will also enable the profile corrections uh, as I said this was took with the Tokina 11 to 16 so I will enable this for the make I'll choose Tokina which is my lens and you can see it actually it chooses uh, this automatically it's the 11 to 16 f2.8 and I left this to how it was and you can see the correction that it does it removes a bit of vignetting and it makes some uh, correction there uh, actually I like that vignetting so I'll put it back in a bit like that and also on the color I will remove the chromatic aberrations um, you can see that especially here and maybe around some of the stars and this will remove the, the most uh, visible chromatic aberrations even though you can help you out using this but not too much you can see you start to add really ugly things there on the image so just increase it slightly not too much and that's pretty much it I don't know if if I will do anything else to it let's go now in Photoshop and correct this um, thing here you can also do it here on manual you can uh, correct uh, oops not the distortion uh, you can make uh, corrections to this uh, but I'll do it in Photoshop so what I will do is right click on it and choose edit in Adobe Photoshop CS6 I have it in Spanish right now but uh, there will be no problem because there's just minor edits, that, uh, minor edits that we will do I'll create a copy and I'll press Ctrl Command T to open to load the free transform and now I'll right click and choose uh, distort I think it was and do something like that see that I'll, I'm pressing the shift key and I'll, re I'll do it like this to make this um, lighthouse be straight like that and I'll press enter and now you can see that because I have this other image on the background there it's not really visible all the all I need to do is create a layer mask I could actually make a selection like this and just fill this with black like so and nobody can tell that this is actually a two shots uh, like so see that and that way we don't distort the Milky Way 
I'll merge everything and now I'll make the image smaller you can see it's 6,000 pixels um, maybe I'll make it to 2,500 pixels like so and now you can see mo um, most of that noise is now compressed and it's not really that visible and now I'll create a copy just in case and I'll go to filter um, sharpen I'll choose uh, smart sharpen and I'll choose a radius of about 0 0.4 and increase the sharpening like so you can also add um, an adjustment layer and increase maybe a bit more the saturation of the image not much uh, a bit more like so and that's pretty much it I'll merge everything and if I save this now if I press ctrl command s I'll save it and if I go back to Lightroom I have the saved version here now you can see this was the image that we had and this is the corrected perspective okay and this was the original image straight from the camera so we went from this to this and that's it uh, that's everything <laughs> that's all it is to it and well that's that's it that's how I edited this image um, if you want uh, and that's it. That's how I edited this image. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, and if you want more of the Milky Way editing tutorials, or if you want to learn how to shoot it. So that's how I edited this Milky Way shot. Um, if you want to know how I actually took the image on the field, I'll probably make a tutorial. But uh, so that's it. That's how I edited this Milky Way shot. If you want me to make another tutorial uh, editing another image like this, I'll go out and take another shot. So that's that's it. Uh, I hope you liked the tutorial. That's how I edited this Milky Way image. If you want more tutorials like this, uh, just let me know. Post a comment on YouTube or on my website. and. I'll make more of it. As I said, this is the second image. I like it more because I have this longer uh, Milky Way image and it looks nice as well. So that's all for today. I hope you liked this tutorial and see you next time.